Tokozani bo gogo tokozani bo mkulu tokozani Dr. Luazi here. I hope that you are able to hear me. Today I need to say a little bit of advice. Etlozin in the spiritual realm, in the spiritual path, there is nothing that the ancestors or the spirit guides will do that does not have a reason. That doesn't have a reason. They do things because there is a reason. Today, I want to just speak about one thing, one thing, Amabai. Let us speak about Amabai. They will say to you, Hamba Namanguni, use the Kanga, the Lion Kanga, the red, black, and white Lion Kanga. They will say, you have Isinguni, Isizangoma, but at the same time, you have prophetic gifts. So use the blue uh, sun Kanga. They will say that Ohamba Nabalozi use this kanga. So, what is the true meaning behind these kangas? What is the true meaning behind Amabai lamp? I will speak about just one, but all of Amabai and their colors have meanings. If you're doing esporophyte or you, you're having the gift of esporophyte and they give you yellow color, they give you green color, blue color, purple color, orange color, white color, all of those colors represent something. They mean something. Number one, it means the type of gift that you carry. Number two, the type of ancestors that you move with. Number three, the dimension that you are coming from, that your ancestors are waking from within our current solar system because every dimension is ruled by a certain color right now before i i go far let us speak about this kind this kanga here um red black and white starting with red and black red black and white it symbolizes red your bloodline ancestor it symbolizes the the element that you are living of that you are surviving of which is your blood right and then the white symbolizes unity of all ancestors because it includes all the seven colors together and then the black one represents transparency right and then it also represents protection right now let us unpack further in this ibai even all of these details they mean something the first one that i need you to look into is the star of David. This star means something. The star of David, you find it along the edges of this Ibai. What is the significance? The significance is that the star of David is representing the sun, the solar system itself, which says it recognizes that we are working or living within the solar system that is why you see this on the edges and then it is covered by what we call weeds to say that crops for us to feed to survive and then we are looking at the black and white stripes which are saying to you this Jenny is a Jenny that will realign you, realign your lineage and your bloodline during the day, during the night, through all ancestors combined and through transparency and through protection. When we look further into it, then you see these flowers. These flowers, they represent what we call the flower of life, meaning through this journey, you are now acknowledging that you are about to embark in receiving the flower of life, in receiving the power, the knowledge, the skill to reboot and restore the family bloodline. And in the center, the lion kanga has one lion in the center, which represents your lineage holder. Umkulu, noma ogogo, that will be guiding you through this journey. Along the corners, there are four kangas, so there are four lions. Those four lions, they represent your bloodline and your ancestors and your spirit guides through all four corners. 
of the world in the north the south the west the east cardinal points they are there holding space that is the significance number one the significance number two it symbolizes that your household is about to be united and restored because there's five of them and a proper household has got five points for it to be complete so that is just this kanga that is just the explanation of this one this also has its own explanation. This also has its own explanation. All of them have various explanations. Yes, we acknowledge that Amabai were originating from back then when uh, in Africa, when the tradesmen came through and there were exchanges of fabrics, which were predominantly a trade of Amandawe and it came through them and therefore significantly through the agreement of various groups, con congregations and sects, they agreed that this is the uh, representation, this is the colors that will represent us, these are the cloths and the patterns that will represent us and those patterns are significant for these particular reasons. I hope that it makes sense now and it has given you some light when you wear it tomorrow or today now you have a much better idea of why you are wearing it and i'm hoping that maybe it might give you permission to share more knowledge of these various types of kangas because there is quite a lot of them so